Good morning everyone. Nice weather outside. It's um, it's minus three degrees, but it's uh, sunny and nice. So um, I'm gonna wait for a little bit. I'm, I'm out here at this little hostel. It's a really nice place. Um, uh, this tiny little room in this tiny little hostel, and I'm the only one here. It's three floors actually, it's not tiny. It's really big, uh, and it's it's got three buildings. Uh, I'll show you a little bit outside, but yeah, yesterday I I totally forgot to film or anything. I came here and I was really tired. I was the only I'm the only guest in the hostel, so I I rearranged a little bit. I'll show you. So here is the. Uh, sort of common area and in this corner used to be a TV and now it's over here because I'm the only one here I have uh, rearranged the whole thing so I have the uh, I'm watching a series called Tomorrow no Future Man uh, yeah. maybe it into my little space Oh, I'm really hungry and I don't have any anything to eat so I don't know I might I, I want to I want to wait until it gets a little bit warmer but also I'm really hungry I should go and get something to eat. Where is the bloody room key? Here. I'm gonna show you outside. So here's three stories going up. And oh. this here. This here is where Betty been sleeping, you know. You see. Still a little bit cold. But yeah. So, it's a, it's a cold place this. We're in Herby. Which is, you know. Just an hour or so after the border to after the bridge to, to Denmark. So yeah, this place here. I can imagine that it's more bustling in the summertime. <coughs> All right, it's still frost on the bike, but. We are ready to go, I just need to return the key to the reception. From the hostel in Herby, I had around three hours riding to my dad's house in Millebo, if I took the fastest route. But for the first time of this trip, I was no longer under pressure to make mileage, and it was a beautiful day. So obviously, I opted for smaller, curvier roads. I had only one mission this day, and that was to get a new battery for Betty. The old one had been a bit tired for a while, and the only battery I could find in Britain was about double the price of what I knew I could get at Biltema in Sweden. So I had added the Biltema store in Växjö as my next waypoint.
So we are here at Bean Cleaner and we're going to find a new battery for Betty because she's worth it. Supposed to be this one. Now we just need to find it here. 80 821 8821 This should be it then. Yep. Yeah. Let's grab one and go. So that went well. I just have to find somewhere to put it in my luggage. And then we go back to Milebo. From Växjö I continued on the small countryside roads. But I was now climbing in elevation over sea level. And I could feel it getting colder. And before long there was snow on the ground. I didn't mind much, as the landscape in this part of Sweden is a joy to ride through. The narrow curvy roads meander along rivers and between lakes. And with the trees bare, I had a beautiful view across the waters. I've been following this really nice little road here um, because I went into a place called Åseda and I brought some I bought some groceries for for um, tonight and tomorrow and I just uh, I just been riding this really nice little road here for a while and we're gonna continue this road almost all the way up to my dad's house so this gonna be this gonna be fun. Uh, it's a bit cold, but it's really nice. I don't care. So yeah, come with me. You can tell that we're coming up a little bit elevated over the sea level now because you have snow again along the road and uh, it's getting a little bit chilly. I'm guessing it's uh, at least a degree or two below zero. So it is getting a little bit colder, but we have only an hour left to Milebu where I'm staying at my dad's house. So. I should survive, I think, but yeah. So I also have to charge my camera because it ran out of juice. So I'm, I'm having it here on the charger right now. So uh, wish me luck that I'm getting all the way home, all the way to dad's house without freezing to death. I first moved away from Sweden in 1999, mainly because I hated the climate. Some people say there is nothing better than Swedish summer and to a degree I can agree with that. Those two days are amazing but I could never see how that would make up to the fact that the rest of the year is pretty crap. Now as I'm getting older, perhaps also less heat resistant, I actually appreciate Sweden more and more. I don't mind the cold as much and a crisp day like this with vistas like these, yeah, I like it. At 
Two o'clock in the afternoon, the 4th of April, I arrived in Milleborg. All I could do now was wait for the visa office in Düsseldorf to send me my passport back. How long that would take, I did not yet know.